it started with, uh, like I was uh, talking about earlier, with the project where I was working on the, e the EEG machine and trying to find ways for those with disabilities to be able to connect and control uh, computers and interact with them um, in differing ways. And so from there I went from that idea to then seeing that this was a product that was going to be released and then kind of started contacting Google and trying to get accepted in the program so I could have access to start seeing how they work and uh, how to start testing and develop things for them. It simply, it is a smartphone, uh, uh, the capabilities of a smartphone um, that only should be used for think tasks that are right now. So only things, uh, kind of like, like I was saying earlier, with a, with a laptop or a computer, you are doing like you know, long-term, year-long projects. With a phone, it's kind of day-to-day -day or week task. And with glass, they want it to be right now. So it's, it's attached to your face and it's supposed to be kind of, to get the technology out of your way, um, you can just look up and use it. And they say, but you don't want you don't you don't want to play too many like games or things like that on right. it. It should be out of your way, and then whenever like a notification or something comes in, you can look up and there it is. So it's organic. Yeah, it yeah. should just kind of blend in. The, they they said that it's uh, it, if you look around anywhere, you know, whether it's the streets or something, you see everyone walking around doing this, you know, glued right. to their phones with their right. head down and looking up. And so the point of this is the kind of, they said it's it's funny how to to get clo uh, technology out of the way we have to get it closer you know and that's right. what kind of what they're doing but the most common way is I can just say okay glass take a picture and there you are uh -huh. that is so cool yeah. and it's kind of slow by the time it gets here because yeah. it's having to stream it to that if that's slow that's pretty um, good you know the thing is is a lot of the this technology is here uh, you know we had amazing advances in uh, innovation just over the past three or four years and so if you take the they've been all geared towards consumer stuff so with your uh, how you uh, how you interact with like the the apps and stuff and so a lot of that innovation is not being pointed that direction so we have the technology right now it just needs to kind of be adapted in ways right. that would help right. that's the, the main thing is that this is a platform they want it to be just something that we can go in and experiment with. So the know. hardware is they built to give you the possibilities. Exactly. Now as you the developer, it's up to you to say what does that possibility look like? Exactly. exactly. And what are some of the things that we currently weren't able to do right. that we can now? Okay. It enables for uh, a, a wide uh, variety of uh, disabilities. And so right now, it, it's, I want it to be kind of a toolbox, per se, um, that you can then develop differing tool, different tools to kind of help with some of the frustrations that those with disabilities kind of deal with, um, you know, whether you're paralyzed or if you're deaf. Um, and so the idea is to where you can have these different tools, um, like for example, the first one that I'm working on provides closed captioning for conversations uh, and for listening to anything that's going on kind of uh, conversationally or that you're watching. You know, uh, 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 early version of the app. How about that? Um, and so, so this is what you're seeing with your regular eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And this is Google Glass right here. Just yeah, yeah it's just kind of is floating up there. Um, I'm working. I'm continuing to improve it, um, and I'm really waiting on them to be released, uh, and then I'll have a pla uh, an area where I can then uh, distribute the software and get testers out um, and kind of really start to get a lot of feedback and that's when the that's when the magic really happens